chance that Doom 64 will be launching for PC and PS4 as the rating has been posted for the game on the European ratings board, Peggy. So the post was spotted by Gamatsu and showed the game had a rating of 16 for violence. It also showed its release date as the July 26th and the same day Doom, Doom 2, and Doom 3 were announced for modern consoles. The post has since been removed. Agent 47 is off to Siberia with a new sniper assassin map for Hitman 2. His latest assignment, Crime and a Punishment, brings him to the Perm 14 person complex where he has to eliminate two targets ex Russian mobster Roman Kobko and a former KGB operative and now prison warden Vitaly Reznikov. His mission also involves eliminating the Siberian Tigers and uh, has to cause a person riot. Head over to IO Interactive's website to see the full mission's details. Both targets must be eliminated. Street Fighter V is hosting a free trial on PC and PS4 in it runs from August 1st until August 11. This free trial run also coincides with EVO 2019 that will be taking place this weekend. The free trial will have a player's access all 16 device characters as well as the characters from Season 3, Blanca, Sagat, Sakura, Falky, Cody, and G Evo. 2019 is from August 2nd until the 4th. Playful Studios platform and news for Locke's Tale is set to launch on the Nintendo Switch on November 8th. The game promises to bring a challenging delight for players of all ages and skill levels as it features a variety of gameplay, hubs, tour-based adventure levels, 2D side-scrolling challenges, puzzles, minigames, and these battles. New Super Lock is Tale is the expanded version of the original game, which launched back in 2017 for Microsoft platforms. Hidetaka Suwari Suhiro's The Good Life will be launching at a later date than planned. The game has been delayed to next year, an official release date is yet to be announced. So The Good Life is described as a daily life RPG which follows the protagonist Naomi who is the photojournalist from New York. So she moves to the English town of Rainy Woods in order to pay off a debt. And the good life has successfully reached its goal in Kickstarter back in May and was expected to launch in quarter four of this year. You 
UK-based World of Warcraft eSport team, Mafa has claimed another first. The team is the first team to defeat the Eternal Palace Chief boss Quinn Azara on Mythic difficulty. So the team's co-owner and founder Scott Co. Macmillan said, this feat was an epic journey and was abundantly pleased at this result. He also wanted to thank everyone who supported the team. Upcoming strategy game Phoenix Point has been delayed again. The game was initially expected to launch on September 3rd, but its developer Snapshot Games said that the game will be releasing on December instead. We know that is not our first delay and we are very sorry to the fans who we know are highly anticipating getting their hands on Phoenix Point. The post further added that they would rather miss a launch date than ship something that does not meet our expectation standards. A modder who goes by the name Hackpie has created a mod for Seeker Shadows Die Twice which replaces Wolf with the Sheriff Twaddy of the Toy Story animated franchise. So Hackpie said that he was inspired by the funny Seeker mods and he has recently watched Toy Story 4 with his cousin. So he decided to create this mod. The mod is available at Nexus Mods if you are interested. Eagle Dog players have noticed that Call of Duty Modern Warfare's avatars' watches do not display in game time. One player pointed this out on Reddit, and our director Joel Mzell responded saying, The watches read time of your console or PC. They are real time, not game time. So Mzell uh, also added that a 2002 World War II shooter, Medal of Honor, Allied Assault also had a similar feature. Blizzard has added a new character to Heroes of the Storm. The new character is Kira and she is a melee assassin. So she has a grappling hook that pulls her to any terrain it contacts. So when it hits an enemy hero, they take 36 damage and Kira launches them and deals addition 112 damage. She can also unleash her sword in a target, uh, targeted direction and continuously deals 31 damage to enemies in its path. Still 
Version 2.0 modding tools have rolled out for off-world industries online, team-based military them to first-person shooter squads. These tools have been enhanced in order for mothers to share their work with the squad community, and off-world also announced the new Canadian Armed Forces, a free expansion which adds additional weapons, of vehicles, and a lot more. This update also comes with the two Canadian mobs, Cubit and Nanizvik, and featuring snow environments, a belt for intense combined arms combat. Infinity Ward has revealed that kill streaks are making combat through Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The feature will be part of the game at launch, and the kill streak feature will be part of Infinity Ward's Call of Duty Modern Warfare's multiplayer presentation on August 1st. Modern Warfare is set to launch on October 25th for PS4, XX1, and PC. IO Interactive, the developer of the game Hitman, recently had a documentary with no clip and it had been revealed that a Hitman 3 game is being talked about. The developers are planning for the game to have the same episodic structure of the Hitman game that launched in 2016. So for right now, that is the only thing that we know about the developer's plan for the next Hitman game. We will be sharing more information with you as we get more news about it. The Blackout Club has stepped out of early access and it is now launched as a full game. The horror stealth game had been in early access for 8 months and had since then received some changes. One of which is the addition of traders as well as the enhanced horror system which will actually record some audio from your mic and then play it back to you for a more creepy experience. The Blackout Club is now available on Steam and it is 24 euro, a 30 euro or a 25 euro. This is about an 8 euro hike from its price in early access. A new Path of Exile expansion has been announced to come out by September, said developer Grinding Gear Games. The upcoming update is 3.8.0, which will come with a new Challenge League, a meal combat overhaul, and many more. The update previous to this, which was 3.7.0 called Legion, is quite huge, so that 3.80 update is expected to be smaller. The tentative release date for this update is on September 6th and the date might change as the studio is against crunching their workers.
It is World of Warcraft's 15th anniversary in November and they are planning to celebrate this by adding a fan favorite to the game. Blizzard is planning to add an old school inspired Alterac Valley Battleground. The very first time that this was introduced was in 2005 which had hours long battles emphasizing on its PvP elements. Some rewards are also planned to be launched during this time and players will have to finish various tasks for the rewards or simply logging in during the event. Control launched a very creepy official exclusive story trailer. The game is from Remedy and so far the impression about it is strange and that is further reinforced by trailer that has been released today. Players will get to play as Jesse Fadden of the Federal Bureau of Control. FBC is a secret agency that deals with paranormal phenomenon. The agency however have been infiltrated by something called the Hiss, which is from beyond the realm of humans. Controlling will be launching that's gonna be in August 27. Persona 5 Royal gets an introduction trailer for Morgana. Morgana is a character that looks like a mascot and is not really a cat. We also get to see Morgana's new persona who is named Jago but has a civilian name of Zoro. Only main characters of the game were able to receive introduction trailers and the game's very first live stream will happen on August 2 which would probably reveal the game's second trailer. Persona 5 Royal in addition will be launching on October 31st in Japan and by next year, that's gonna be in the West. Three for Three Industries shared a trailer for their game Halo Infinite during E3 2019. Apparently, the trailer had a hidden secret that was only discovered now by Twitter user Say Paul. He noticed that the trailer had a QR code that was shown briefly, and the code will lead you to a voice recording of Cortana saying this This is a part of me. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it is me. A community led at 343 Industries confirmed this and was actually surprised that it took this long for anyone to find it. According to a leak, the next Need for Speed game will be launching this year and that it will be called Need for Speed Heat. This has been seen at the Austrian store called Gameware, a box of art for the game have been included but was since then removed. It has also been said that the game will be available for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Aside from these leaks, no other information was given about the game and we will share with you more information as soon as we get it.
eFootball PES 2020 will be launching on September 20, 2019 for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Now is a demo available. Those interested will be able to play in local match code, quick match, and edit code. The clubs included are FC Barcelona, Manchester United, FC Bayern Munich, the v Juventus Arsenal, Palmer, Flamengo, San Paulo, Corinthians, Vasco da Gama, Boca Juniors, River Plate, and Colo Colo. The stadiums that you can play at are Alive Arena, Alive Park, and the new Sony Arena. A new 2D side-scrolling platform adventure will be announced during Gamescom, and it is called Bookbound Brigade. Here, players are able to play as literary characters like Dracula, King Arthur, Queen Victoria, and so much more in order to retrieve the stolen book of books. Get to go on challenging quests, solve puzzles, and develop your skills. Each character can be found from both histories and literature, so many familiar faces can be seen. The Book Mad Brigade will be launching later this year. Greed 4, or simply known as just Greed, has revealed its part to a list of cars coming to the game. The cars vary from muscle, touring, stock, super modified, and so much more. Here are the cars to be added the Aston Martin Vintage, a GT4, Ford Focus TC2, Honda Civic Type R TCR, the Mazda RX7, Pan Speed, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution, 6 Time Attack, Renault R26, the Subaru Impreza. WRX Subaru WRX uh, STI TZ2 and SRT Viper GTSR and Grid will be launching on September 13, 2019. Available for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox. Bohemia Interactive Viger has a 0.9 update, which is called AID. This includes improvement in animations and improved shooting. It also comes with new features such as new female characters, a food and charity box, the Outlander store, the spectator mode, achievements, and daily challenges. After update 0.9, the game will have a free-to-play release, which is expected to happen sometime later this summer. Viger is powered by Unreal Engine 4 and it's currently on Xbox One Early Access. <laughs> 